white miracles. We've seen the blue white red miracles deck. Uh, this one, I think, it is largely the same idea. It doesn't have pillar of flames. Instead, it's playing thought scours. So okay. it's, it's just going a little. It has four temporal masters. So it has more miracles. It's actually very similar to the deck that Alexander Hain used to win the block pro tour, um, uh, with only slight changes to it. Worth noting is that it appears <coughs> if Robert Neck Connect loses his uh, Entreat the Angels to something like a, a Slaughter Games, his only way to win is Tamiya the Moon Sage and Thought Scour, if I am right. correctly. Just so we have two lands out of from Robert, no plays. First play of the game is a Thalia on turn two for Justin. Justin Asa on green-white aggro. Looks like a relatively conventional, if highly aggressive, list. He's running Dryad Militants. Uh, he has Silverblade Paladins, Sublime Archangels, some Restoration Angels, and he has Rancor plus Selesnya Charm. This deck really is three Jaces away from being the block deck. <laughs> uh, here's a putting four Azorius Charms. For... Swing for two by Thal, drops Robert down to 18. Nonetheless, I think that this matchup is in Robert's favor. Um, I agree. Sweepers are very hard for Green White to deal with. Uh, <laughs> and he, he didn't really come packed with anything in his sideboard. His sideboard appears to be mostly against zombies and other creature decks. He's going to be leaning pretty hard on something like Thalia and I, I guess Restoration Angel Rancor is like a post sweeper threat. So Smiter comes down for Haas. This is one of the more interesting parts of the game for what strategy Haas wants to pursue. He may not want to commit anything more because he has to assume his opponent has a sweeper. Sure. Uh, but at the same time, Robert can't sweep this turn because any sweeper he might have, like a Supreme Verdict, uh, will cost five. These players both are at X1, they're the top of the X1s. Uh, but in, since we're so close to the cap, top and bottom of X1 probably doesn't have much merit. I imagine every X1 is gonna be battling. Sure. <clears throat> If, if I'm Justin, I think that if I have a Restoration Angel, I'm obviously just going to hold these and plan to play that after a Wrath. If I don't have a Restoration Angel, it's entirely possible I can't win even if my opponent has a Wrath. If he goes something like Supreme Verdict into Tamiyo, it's going to be really, really difficult. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So in that event, risking the Wrath and just jamming as many creatures onto the board as you can is, is not that bad. And he doesn't have the fourth land Without either. the fourth land, he's in big trouble. If I don't have the fourth land, I feel like I probably just want to play Then I wouldn't creature. play Restoration Angel. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> in this situation, I might commit like a second Smiter because I'm going to have cards at the end of the game in my hand anyway, probably, considering I'm Mana Screwed. Right. So, so conserving a threat is not that doesn't bad. Particularly matter. Uh, Robert. Looks like he's Wolf so Charm. He's make, yeah, he's making a, a Knight. Or Knight, yeah, sorry. Knight Charm. And this is actually, he's going to be able to get Robert Connect down to four life this next turn. So Connect has only played lands this game, has five of them. He's he has a Terminus. It looks like he has a Feeling of Dread in his hand. And I believe I see a Feeling of Dread and a Thought Scour, so he's probably going to be playing both of those. Not in that order, however. Right, in case a miracle happens. Yep, he'll lead with the Thought Scour, hoping to hit a Terminus, and if he doesn't, then he'll just Feeling Dread to tap down the Loxon Smiter and one of the two power guys. Right, he just has to survive until seven mana. He does have a Terminus in hand. Yep. What's Justin got Second Thalia, no, no, two. A Rancor. Oh, we know which of the creatures we're going to tap now. Yeah. Well, no real uh, way for We should Justin be Thought Scouring in response to the Rancor in order to hit the thing if we have a Thought Scour. Okay. Right. He's just Feeling of Dreading. Just Feeling of Dreading, okay. Well, hopefully he doesn't make a fool of him. Does he have a Thought Scour, are we sure? I, I thought I saw one. I could be wrong. It is a little shady over Max there. Max goes down to 10. Nope, I, I 10. assume he doesn't. He doesn't have one. Well, it was a good class anyway. Yeah, Rock Connect has to feel pretty good about this game. Uh, his life total is probably a little lower than he wants it to be, but yep. all, st all is well nonetheless, I think. All right, Haas accumulating a lot of cards in his hand. He's going to drop a second ranker, this yep. one on the Thalia. It's going to push two extra damage. Drop Connect to six. And then he's going to offer to enter combat. I have a feeling Robert's got a reply. It might even be in his graveyard. Right? Okay, it's a. Uh, I think twice first. first. Is it a miracle? Is it a miracle? Is it a terminus? This is a. If it's an intrusion. I, I have a feeling it might be a temporal mastery, and he's kind of like, ugh. 
Can't do it. Can't do it, Robert. You have to put the temporal mastery back. It's okay. <laughs> you can... That's just my read on the situation here. If it's a, I feel like if it's a terminus, we should just be snap flipping ah! it over, right? Like... <laughs> it's a mastery. It's sad, but you can always can trip it later. What's going on? There's... You're, you can't cast the Temporal Master, you're dead if you do that. This is a really confusing delay on uh, this and You turn. can't entreat. It is entreating. You can't entreat here, it costs extra. Does that mean he loses? Uh, no, not if he appeals to a judge. He is legally allowed to declare an entreat for zero, however he is not obligated to do so. Okay, if yes. he said entreat for one, right. then the, that is yes. a GRB and the game should be rewound now, because he cast a spell without paying its mana. But if he just said entreat the angels and didn't say a number next to it. Uh, if he didn't say a number, then I believe it would still be rewound in the really? vast majority of circumstances, yes. Okay. He did not declare zero either, so there's no explicit argument for either one. Uh, well, now I have no idea what's happening. And they're making him tap? Uh, yeah. He's dead? This is a situation where Robert should be appealing this ruling, because that's not a good one. Okay, he's going to draw a Temporal Mastery next turn. Yeah. He would have 100% won that game, but uh, yes, that was... If that was a judge ruling, I am going I, I to I think go some, of, some of it depends on what he said. Yes. When but he did it. I don't. I actually don't believe... It matters. It matters, yeah. If he says entreat, or if he says entreat for one in either circumstance, he should be rewinding that game state because his intent was clearly to cast Entreat for one, which is not legal to do in that circumstance. So it's just playing a spell without paying its mana cost. If he said Entreat for 35, it's the same result. Like, right. <laughs> maybe maybe we can get maybe we can get a judge to talk to. Maybe we'll we'll try to get the judge ruling on on what exactly happened there. Is that the the judge? Our dire our director has a, a quote from the floor, but. Uh, apparently the player may have amended himself into killing himself, which is very awkward. Yeah, guys, uh, if you're ever in a situation where you realize you've done something stupid, you should probably go with the option that doesn't kill you and appeal or ask a judge or...